Good morning Kingsley. Today I'm going to show you how to turn Mrs Elder's tally chart into something called a pictogram. And first of all I need to show you what a pictogram is. So if we move along, this is a pictogram. And this is a pictogram that shows how some children travelled to school. So you can see we've got lots of different ways of them travelling. The first thing is it's got a title. How do children travel to school? Then you'll see they've drawn two lines, one line going up and down and one line going across and they meet here um, in a right angle. But these lines are called the axes and they've got labels. So this axis has got on it the type of transport and this axis going across has then got how many children travelled in that way. The next thing it needs to have are some pictures because it's a pictogram and the pictures, the pictures are different for each type of transport but the pictures all have to be the same size, okay, so that we can show that that picture is worth the same number of people. So in the key, it tells us, and it's used the example of a bus, but it could also be a bike or the shoes or the car, that means two people, okay? And you'll see that this bus has been chopped in half and we're gonna talk about that in a little bit when we do our pictogram. So they are the same size, these pictures, but they're also evenly spaced, okay? So we have to do it nice and neatly and make sure that we don't leave big gaps in our pictogram, okay? Okay, okay, so now we're ready to do our pictogram. I've got my title, what we saw on our rainbow walk. I've got my two axes and I've actually turned my pictogram around. So I'm gonna have the objects going up from the bottom rather than along from the side in the example that we had. Um, and I have decided that when I looked at Mrs. Elder's tally chart, 24 was the biggest number for the number of people. And I thought, you know what, I'm not going to fit 24 pictures on here. So I'm actually going to use the same key that we had in the example, the same um, number. I'm going to have each picture is worth two. So just like a two pence piece is worth two one penny pieces, each picture in our pictogram is going to be worth two of those objects that Mrs Elder saw. So I need to complete my key, so I need to say the picture equals two objects. Okay. And then I need to be checking my tally and I'm just gonna stick on the pictures. So the rainbows, there were 20. So I know that if I'm gonna count up in twos to get to 20, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I need to have 10 pictures. So I'm going to stick those on, remembering that my pictures have to be evenly spaced. Okay, one, Okay, so now I've come to the post boxes and on the tally chart there were three and that's not, when I count in twos I don't get to the number three because it's not an even number, it's not in the two times table. So I'm going to have to do something different. So I'm going to have to put on one post box, which is worth two post boxes that Mrs Elder saw. And then I'm going to have to cut my post box in half. So remember the half of a bus that we had up there, we're gonna have half a post box. And that's gonna be worth one post box. So then we've got two plus another one gives us our three post boxes that were on our tally chart. 
Okay, so now my pictogram is finished and we can really clearly see which object Mrs. Elder saw the most of. So, your challenge, Kingsley, is to use the data that you found on your walk or when you went around your house or when you asked uh, some people some questions, whatever data you have found, is to put it into a pictogram. Remember your axes, remember your title. Uh, you don't have to cut pictures out. You're probably a lot better at drawing than I am. So you might want to draw little pictures, but just remember to make sure that they're the same size and that when you put them onto your pictogram, they're nice and evenly spaced. Okay, and don't forget your key. Good luck.